Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to break down how to create this really cool bounce effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is just a clip of Christian McCaffrey. And as you can see right here, he, he'll start popping out of the screen. He'll just like pop out of the screen and you'll see like an RGB glow around him. So I'll kind of just break down how to create this effect. Now I've renamed the clip so it helps, so it makes it a lot easier to understand um, how to create this effect. So right here, as you can see, this is the original clip. So let's go ahead and disable it. And it's literally the exact same clip. So you're going to want to start with an original clip. And then what you want to do is you're going to hold down option or you can just copy and paste it on top. And the most important thing you need to do is you need to make sure it's lined up perfectly. So you need to make sure it starts exactly the original and the copy starts and ends at the exact same time or else it's going to look a little bit weird. So the original, right he, original is right here and then this is all one clip but I chopped it into three separate clips. So that's basically how you create or the, that's basically the starting point of this effect. So here's a copy, here's the copy, here's the original. Nothing really special going on with these three clips. It's these two clips that are the that's the most important part of the entire video. So as you can see right here, let's go ahead and click on here. Let's head over to the inspector window and this one has a draw mask and as you can see right here, this one also has a draw mask, but it also has a color board, a focus blur, and a prism blur. Now the most important thing is I'm just going to start with this clip right here. What you're basically going to do is this is only now this is not a freeze frame i did not uh freeze this so just to, just to make that clear I didn't, this is not a freeze frame so what i just did was i just picked um 0.03 seconds so like three frames now this could be any three frames it doesn't have to be in the middle or anything like that i would encourage you to find a really cool like just three um frames where the the person is pretty much kind of like centered or like looks pretty good now if i picked a frame where the the orchestra cafe was like really blurry probably wouldn't look as good so if you're doing a video I would highly encourage you to find a frame where the person looks pretty um, still and yeah that can definitely be a challenge but and again some clips might not might not even you might not even want to use this effect because they're just going so fast that you won't be able to find a good three frames of just a nice still image so here's the clip right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the draw mask so that's what you're doing in this effect you're using a draw mask to cut out the person so let's go over here to the effects panel and then mask and as you can see here is the draw mask so you're literally just cutting out christian mccaffrey now this clip and this clip again are copies of each other so these are the exact same clips you don't have to have an rgb overlay but i decided i think it'd be cool to put an rgb overlay so as you can see right here all you have is a draw mask and you're cutting out your person now again this is the exact same clip if you want to add now this type of clip is perfectly fine but if you want to add an rgb glow as you can see this is titled color what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a focus blur a prism blur so right here a focus blur and then a prism blur but what you're also going to want to do is head to color boards as you can see color board one and then as you can see right here the exposure is brought up the saturation is brought up and then I changed the color to whatever color I wanted I decided like a yellowish greenish so that's how you create that glow effect you want to add a color board and then you add a prism blur and a focus blur underneath it so you can create that uh, prism blur that's just if you want to create an RGB overlay so let's go ahead and head over here so to basically create this effect all you're doing is you're selecting a draw mask then what you're doing is you're keyframing the scale so watch the scale 125 well, let's go ahead and click on the video 125 136 148 and then it goes back to normal so all you're basically doing is you're just keyframing the scale so let's go one frame at a time 125 as you can see that's key, it's the scale is keyframed then 136 148 and then boom 
you're back to normal so all you're doing is you're using a drum mess to cut out the person and then all you're doing is you're just keyframing the scale and then boom it goes back to normal so that's how you create this very simple and easy little effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy those types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace